Hello and welcome to MaryCast. Dr. Mark Miravalli, Professor of Theology and Mariology at the Franciscan University of Steubenville. We're in the midst of a series on the Lady of All Nations, messages approved by the Church on May 31st, 2002, messages given in Holland but speak about world events, uh, events which are actually making the headlines in the 21st century and even uh, in 2011, uh, prophecies about Cairo and the Middle East, prophecies about uh, unprecedented economic difficulties, disasters, even trade wars. Uh, these are things Our Lady gave us to give evidence that what she says is true. And I want to continue in uh, giving you some excerpts from the messages themselves. Many people say, I, I, I don't have time to sit and read a book, but I, I, I'll watch a, a, a quick shot on it, on uh, a quick video. So we're trying to provide that for you in this series and its commentary. Uh, I want to say from the beginning that the principal uh, request, the first request, I should say, of Our Lady is the praying of the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. And we will send you that prayer card free if you contact us. You can call us at 740-937-2277. 740-937-2277. Just leave a name and address and how many cards you would like. We'll send it free of charge. Or you can email us, mary at motherofallpeoples.com, or go to our Facebook page of Mother of All Peoples. Let us know. If there's a larger quantity, if you can send a donation, great. If not, that's not it at issue. Uh, what's at issue is, is getting our mother's message and her prayer out to the world. We're talking about her explanation of what the prayer is actually for. It's also for the proclamation of the dogma the spiritual mother of all peoples, Our Lady's role as the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. And I want to read to you, in our last program I, I began this, but I want to read this and continue Our Lady's explanation of the dogma herself. This is rather precious. Rather than just having a theologian or a teacher instruct you, here you have the seat of wisdom giving you her concept of this dogma. This is the April 29th, 1951 message. She starts, uh, I stand here. As the co-redemptrix and advocate, everything should be concentrated on that. Repeat this after me. The new dogma will be the dogma of the co-redemptrix. Notice I lay special emphasis on co. I have said that it will arouse much controversy. Once again, I tell you that the Church Rome will carry it through and silence all objections. The Church Rome will incur opposition and overcome it. The Church Rome will become stronger and mightier in proportion to the resistance she puts up in the struggle. It's a brief comment there. Many say this is the last time, this is not a good time for a proclamation of the dogma. Uh, too much going on in the church, too much crisis. And what does Our Lady say? She says the opposite, that this will be a remedy, this will be a strengthening of the church by proclaiming the truth about Our Lady, allowing the Mother of God to intercede for the church and lead the church through any type of crisis the church experiences. Our Lady goes on, my purpose and my commission to you, this is to the visionary Edith Perdiman, is none other than to urge the church, the theologians, to wage this battle. For the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit wills to send the lady chosen to bear the Redeemer into this world as co-redemptrix and advocate. I have said this time is our time. By this I mean the following. The world is caught up in degeneration and superficiality. It is at a loss. Therefore, the Father sends me to be the advocate to implore the Holy Spirit to come. For the world is not saved by force. The world will be saved by the Spirit. Now, we've got to stop for a moment here. What's our mother saying? Uh, she's saying this profound truth. She is being sent in by the Holy Trinity to pray for the descent of the Holy Spirit. Does that sound familiar? That's what happens in Acts 1.14. That's what happens at the first Pentecost. Our Lady is there praying for the descent of the Holy Spirit. In this regard, can we not see the divine order and wisdom of having Our Lady again, at this request for a new Pentecost, come and pray for a new descent of the Holy Spirit in our day? Uh, our Lady also says that the world will not be saved by force. It's not going to be war. It's not going to be a political battle that brings peace. Ultimately, ultimately, it has to be heaven. It will be the Holy Spirit. It's the conversion of heart that brings an end to war, not domination, not force. And so here, as we are in the midst of 
several military conflicts throughout the world in Afghanistan and uh, conflict going on in Sudan and, and several other locations, especially now in light of the Middle East. We have to hear these words and heed these words. So she asks us to pray the prayer for the descent of the Holy Spirit and also the proclamation of this dogma, this truth about her as co-redemptrix. She goes on, quote, in the sufferings, both spiritual and bodily, the lady, the mother, has shared. She has always gone before. As soon as the Father had elected her, she was the co-redemptrix with the Redeemer, who came into the world as the man-god. Tell that to your theologians. I know well the struggle will be hard and bitter. And then the lady smiles to herself and seems to gaze into the far distance. But the outcome is already assured. Okay, now, let's, let's see this in full context. The mother of God is saying through these church-approved apparitions that this dogma will happen. The outcome is already assured. She then predicts, uh, or along with this, I should say, she predicts great controversy, great difficulty. But this is something heaven wants. Heaven wants this for this time. She says she was co-redemptrix with the Redeemer who came into the world as the man-god. Tell that to your theologians. What does the word co-redemptrix mean, my friends? It means with Jesus. It literally means the woman with the Redeemer. So who else would fit that mold? Who else would dare say they did more to help Jesus redeem the world than Mary? But now the Trinity sends Mary back into the world right now to assist us in our times. So what has she prophesied to give evidence of the fact that she wants this dogma? And this dogma is called for now. She prophesied things like, as we've talked about in earlier programs, in 1945, that Israel would return as a state. That happens in 1948. In 1946, she prophesies that in China there would be a red flag flying over uh, the people of China after a bloody revolt. In 1949, that prophecy is fulfilled by the People's Republic of China, the communist takeover of China with Mao Zedong. She prophesied the Korean War in 1949, and it happens in 1950. She prophesied a Cold War between Russia and the United States. This obviously has happened. She prophesied uh, new and, and painful battles in the Balkan states. And of course, the Kos uh, Kosovo and, and Bosnian Wars of the 1990s were of the most painful. A, a great series of these prophecies, but she also prophesied Cairo, unrest in Cairo. This is back in 1947. And one Georgetown professor of national security said, this is the only part of the prophecy I didn't understand because Cairo has always been a place of peace, uh, at least relative tranquility in comparison with the rest of the Middle East. And now, at the beginning of 2011, we see again the prophecy of Our Lady takes place. She also prophesied economic disaster and material disaster along with natural disasters. What's happening now? The world is experiencing an economic crisis because of the situation in the Middle East, the oil situation, the, the, the grain going up three times, the hunger, uh, the instability in the Middle East is touching every life now. Uh, and so Our Lady comes with remedy. So let's do our part. I ask you to pray the prayer of the Lady of All Nations and pray for this fifth dogma. Uh, you can get the prayer. Again, you can get the prayer on the internet. You can just Google Lady of All Nations and the prayer will come up. You can go to Mother of All Peoples and get the prayer. Or we're happy to send you a, a nice laminated uh, version of the prayer. Contact us, 740-937-2277. 740-937-2277. Or our Facebook page, Mother of All Peoples, or Mary at motherofallpeoples.com. Get as many prayers as you need, free of charge. Our Lady will take care of it. If you get a larger amount, you can send a donation. That's great. If not, please don't worry about that in the slightest. Our Lady will take care of that. This is far too important for mammon to prevent. We've got to get this prayer card going out, praying for this proclamation. So let's do our part to avoid and to mitigate the disasters which Our Lady speaks about, by allowing her to bring peace. And that happens through us praying the prayer, through the Holy Father praying the prayer, and through the proclamation of the dogma of Mary, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. This is Mark Miravalli with Mary Cass saying, thank you, God bless you.